Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, we've got another Final Fantasy Tactics guide here. Um, so this one's uh, actually War of the Lions. Uh, this, uh, what I'm actually going to do here is, um, it's doable with uh, Final, the original Final Fantasy Tactics as well. Um, so basically we're at the beginning of Chapter 2 here. Um, we literally just finished the Zekadin Fortress battle. And uh, at this point here, you get, um, <clears throat> basically, actually, what happens is the very first battle in, like, the opening sequence and stuff is, uh, it's kind of like a tutorial battle, and, um, you'll have, you know, you have the main character as well as, uh, in this, this, again, this is War of the Lions, so you got Lad, like, these names are a little bit different in the original, uh, tactics, uh, Alicia, uh, Lavian, Gafgarian and Agrius. Um, so right now, Gafgarian and Agrius are both guests, uh, which makes this or what we're about to do a little bit, um, a little bit more difficult, <laughs> uh, to say the least. But because um, un unfortunately we can't uh, we can't control uh, what either of those two do. Uh, the goal here, and what I want to do, is actually get uh, Gafgarian to be a ninja. Um, which is actually, it's tough to do, and it takes a lot of work, uh, because I think we can only actually use uh, Gafgarian and Agrius for, it's either two or three battles, and so we need to set up really specifically. Uh, so what I've actually done here is, um, I'm going to leave him as his Fel Knight. Um, unfortunately, he just he doesn't have very many options here, so he's got Fel Knight, Chemist, White Mage, and Black Mage. Um, unfortunately, these two aren't going to do us any good at all. Actually, Chemist might not be useful either, now that I think about it. Let me just check here. Um, because we need to get to Ninja, which is... What is Ninja? Alright, so Ninja is Archer level 4, Thief level 5, and Geomancer level 2. Um, yeah, so Archer... Square level two. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, this is gonna be a it's gonna be quite the the pain in the butt. Uh, so actually, what we need to do is, um, being that again we only have two battles, uh, it's not we're not gonna be able to uh, level up all of Gafgarian's jobs like by himself. So what we need to do is make other people do it and uh, spill over JP from their jobs onto him. Uh, so what I mean by that is. In order to get, um, we'll just, we'll take um, Archer for example. In order to get to Archer, and what was it again? Oh, Thief level 5. Oh, that one's going to take a long time. Archer level 3. Um, Alright. So in order to get to Archer level 3, what we need to do is have one of our other characters be an Archer. And just perform actions in battle. And again, uh, the JP from that that character will actually spill over to all of the rest of your characters in combat, and um, unfortunately, it's a it's a really small percentage. So you like, you know, it's always faster to um, to get JP as the the person themselves. Um, but you know, again, the, what little JP spills over to everybody else is is pretty tiny. Um, so again, that's kind of what makes this process take a, a really long time. Um, but, uh, that's what we're going to do. So anyways, uh, I don't know if I'm going to leave my character as a ninja or not. That, that feels like a really bad idea. Um, I'm just trying to think of what we, that, yeah, we'll probably go with something else. Um, but anyways, the other characters here, um, I think we were only going to be able to take three generics, uh, in with the main character. Uh, hopefully I'm not wrong on that, because if I am, that's going to really stink. <laughs> Um, I'm just trying to think of what's going to be the best. It's probably, you know, I should probably make my main character a thief. So let's just do that. Um, it's actually really important, too, to, uh, to keep in mind that you have to have these, these classes already leveled <clears throat> before the end of Chapter 2. Uh, again, reason for that is because these uh, characters are only available for, again, it's either two or three battles. We'll see here. 
and um, and so we're not going to have time to to really go out and level it. But I should take that. I kind of want to take that back because I'm not 100 percent sure if we're going to get an option to to do any random battles in between. I believe though for this first one, there's no there's no um, there's no potential battles in between. Uh, so keep that in mind. All right, so um, I'm just gonna save my game one more time here. So I, basically, what I did is I made a. I've got a save uh, before the you know chapter one to chapter two uh, transition, and then I made a new one um, afterwards, just in case I screwed this up and I need to to go back. But basically, what's gonna happen here is once we get to the Merchant City of Dorder, um, a battle is gonna start here immediately. Yeah. Um, yeah, alright, so it does look like we get three generics, so that's good. Um, so, sp the reason specifically that I went with uh, these these characters is um, these, uh, these are the three that it's going to take to get to uh, to get to Ninja for Gafgarian now. I'm actually probably going to have to restart this because I don't think I've got the right setup. Uh, as far as my skills, which is a good thing that I saved right before this, but let's we'll just have a look. Uh, basically, what I want to do is on my generics, I want to have the accumulate ability, just because it's really easy to spam that. Um, I'm just gonna yeah, just re really cruise through this dialogue because I don't. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's cool and everything, but that's not why we're here. All right, so let's just have a look here and see what we've got. Uh, generally, what I would say, it's not a bad idea is to just kill off Agrius right away and um, kind of reduce the amount of uh, potential issues that could arise from that. Oh, God. Why do I have all these different abilities? This is horrible. Oh, I know why. I have to tweak my skill set here. All right, <clears throat> I'm just gonna check though and see what uh, what I've got for yeah dance. That's not what I want. All right, yeah, so I'll have to restart here. Um, and I'll uh, yeah, I'll just restart and then we'll spell out exactly kind of how I want to go about this. All right, so I'll be right back. All right. So we've got this, uh, got this restarted here. I uh, just changed up a couple of things that uh, needed to be changed. Um, we'll just uh, we'll play out a couple of the turns here and kind of just show you uh, the goal here and kind of what we need to do. So here I've got fundaments now on my generics. And uh, again, the reason for that is just because it's really easy to spam uh, that skill. Because uh, again, the uh, the idea here is to just uh, gain up a, a lot of JP uh, to spill over onto Gefgarian. So again, that's uh, that's the whole reason for doing that. Um, oh, uh, one more thing here. I do have a uh, JP and experience um, bonus enabled uh, just to just to speed this process up. Uh, because again, unfortunately, this does take. Uh, I mean, this takes a long time. Oh. So weak. Uh, and then I did remove Gafgarian's uh, equipment, uh, actually specifically his uh, weapon. Uh, reason for that is, um, I just I want him to to punch stuff, <laughs> and not use his uh, and not use his sword skills. A uh, reason for that is um, I, I don't particularly care how much damage he's doing. I just want him to uh, deal damage, you know, and uh, and not necessarily kill things. Uh, and the reason for that is because he needs to level as well as gain JP. Now, the goal is to get to Gaf or get Gafgarian to 
probably like level 92 or 93, somewhere in there. Um, and boy, I should have mentioned this a lot earlier. <laughs> the reason for doing all of this is to get knight swords. I'll just, uh, should probably toss that in my, uh, my title. But, um, it's, the goal is to get knight swords really early on. And, um, and I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna set you up for the entire game. Knight swords are, uh, I would argue the best weapons in the entire game. There you go, good punch. There you go, buddy. Um, <clears throat> So uh, the idea, again, is to uh, farm up a bunch of those Night Swords. Now, um, you can actually do this, uh, you know, much later on in the game. There's uh, specifically, I know, in Chapter 4. I think it's Chapter 4, right? That's the final final chapter. Um, or is it the final? I don't even know if that's the final chapter. <laughs> chapter 5 might be the final. I don't know. Or is there a Chapter 5? I don't remember. It's been a while since I played. <laughs> I know the game really opens up, though, at Chapter 4. But anyways... Um, later on, again, I think it's, uh, I think the earliest is chapter four is when you can start running into, um, uh, ninjas. And, uh, the ninjas will be able to throw, uh, items at you. And, uh, the reason why that's good is because oftentimes they will throw night swords at you. It depends on what they've got learned. So, basically, enemy ninjas are randomly generated and... Um, sometimes they'll have, you know, throw, throw night swords, and sometimes they won't. And, um, obviously, though, the times that they do have it, um, they're able to throw night swords at you, which you can then catch, which, again, is the whole, uh, idea behind all of what we're doing here. It's, uh, it's to attempt to get, uh, Gafgarian to throw night swords at us. So, spoiler alert, Gafgarian uh, is not, or won't be on our team forever. I'm going to try to figure out how to set myself up for this. I don't know if I want to leave a, I definitely don't want to leave a thief alive. They're, they can be nasty. Maybe I'll leave a, uh, a wizard alive. I should either leave a wizard or an archer alive. I'm not really sure what's going to be a better option, to be honest. Uh, definitely not a thief, though. The thief, some of them can use steel heart, which is, uh, you know, will charm uh, your characters, which can be, uh, which can be not good. <laughs> Let's just check what Gafgarian speeds at nine. Eh. Okay. You can use a couple of uh, tailwinds. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is to just try to speed up uh, Gafgarian so that he can take more turns and thus, you know, hopefully gain more levels and JP and stuff. Uh, but I don't want to make him too fast so that he'll, he'll kill everything in sight. So I just got to, you know, be careful with that. Right, let's kill off this other... Thief. If you notice here, everybody's basically gaining a level and, you know, getting a ton of JP every every action that they take. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so here, here's where I gotta be careful. I don't wanna kill too much stuff and then have Gafgarian work over uh, all the enemies. I'm actually gonna knock out Agrius here too. Um, the thing with Agrius, because she's a guest, if you knock her out, um, she'll just have the little weird bubble things over her head. Yeah, so she can't die here. Basically, any any time a character is a guest, um, well, actually, I shouldn't say that. There are times, actually, where uh, guests can, I think, can be killed off, but um, usually not the humans. Uh, and the reason for that is just storyline reasons. Agrius has a part to play here in the in the story yet, so um, they won't let her, basically they won't let her be killed off. Oh man, yeah. Alright, let's take this guy out too, why not? Tempt, oh, I should have 
Okay, I should have moved here and healed this archer. That's okay. Maybe I can block her in here. Yeah, alright, let's do that. Hopefully she can't, like, jump over me. I don't, I don't think that that's possible, but... Kafkarian might... Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, don't kill her, don't kill her! Oh, ah, too late. Okay, so you might have to... Might have to adjust this strategy a little bit. I'll have to keep this wizard alive instead. That's all right. Let's, uh, get you sped up a little bit more. Um, so eventually here, what I'll do once I get kind of into a into a groove here, I'll just um, I'll probably take a cut and um, do some of this stuff off camera because again, this isn't terribly uh, complicated. Uh, but unfortunately, it is time-consuming. So, yeah, I'll probably just do that. All right, let's uh, keep spamming fundament. Let's, uh, let me just actually check here. I might ha not have to even do this anymore. Let's just check out what he's got. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to keep spamming. All right, so if you notice here, um, Kafkarian has now unlocked... Uh, knight and Archer, and that's because his uh, Fell Knight, you know, leveled up a ton. Obviously, again, this is because I'm using JP, or a JP glitch, basically. Um, but unfortunately, again, because I have to get, I have to get his uh, other classes uh, leveled up as well, I need to keep um, spilling that JP over to him. Let's actually just take a look. Oh, no, I can't yet with this character. Um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, the other good thing to know, um, I should point this out, too, is that... So now, even though Gafgarian doesn't have Monk unlocked yet, um, still using abilities with a Monk will still spill JP over onto him. You just won't be able to see it right away. Uh, at least not until his... Um, or not until his... Uh, uh, Monk gets unlocked. So again, keep that in mind uh, if it looks a little goofy. It's just kind of the way the game works. Oh, and of course you would stand right there. That's where I wanted to stand with my Monk. To use Chakra on this. Um... Oh, this place is so annoying. Uh, to use Chakra on this guy. my monk up. Yeah, this is unfortunate. I, I really want to be standing where Gafgarian is standing at. So I'm going to have to move out of the way and try to get this uh, wizard to move and go somewhere else. Dude, dude, dude. I'm going to just wait and hope that the sky acts quickly. I'm going to speed up my monk a little bit too, just because, again, I want her to get some turns in here. Yeah, so here we're getting really dangerous. And I really need this wizard to move. Otherwise, um, Kafkarian's going to kill him. And I'm not going to do or have be able to do anything about it. Let's just take a look at the, the turn list. Yeah, why bother? So I uh, unfortunately haven't uh, taken any other like healing type abilities, which uh, could be a bit of a problem here. Again, we'll see. But um, this wizard, oh yeah, this is done. Rip, so I'm gonna have to restart this. Uh, so that's what happens when uh, Gafgarian's too quick, and uh, the wizard didn't move to the right spot. Again, my uh, my plan was to heal that wizard with my monk because it's got chakra, uh, but unfortunately, because of where it was standing, I wasn't gonna be able to use uh, chakra, and of course, Gafgarian moved right onto um, where I wanted to be. So again, I'll, uh, I'll have to just redo this, and um, we'll set this up better, and uh, 
yeah, we'll just go from there. Okay, so we've got a bunch of uh, stuff done here. Basically, I've just farmed off camera. Um, so let's take a look at what Gefgarian's at now. Um, so he's got um, basically the archer. Uh, my archer has spammed enough abilities now to get uh, Gefgarian to uh, level 3 archer, which I think is as far as we need to go, because we just needed to unlock Thief. Now, because my main character, as well as uh, one other, is a thief as well, um, obviously we've farmed up a ton of uh, JP to get his thief to four now. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to go all the way to five, or if I'm just going to, uh, to bail at this point and let him finish out thief on his own. Uh, what I need to do, unfortunately, is uh, is swap somebody tonight for the following battle and uh, and get a bit of uh, Knight JP in order for him to get uh, Monk unlocked. And then um, once Monk is unlocked, um, actually, I'll, I'll have to uh, do a Geomancer as well just to get his uh, uh, Geomancer stuff. All right, so actually, I think what I'm going to do here is um, is kind of just continue on here. Um, if you notice, there's actually two archers alive. Uh, that's that's kind of what I went with instead of that uh, uh, instead of the um, wizard. So let's move down here. I'm just going to keep using some abilities here. It would be nice, it would actually be really nice to get to Thief level 5 before I leave. Uh, I just don't know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna go that route. Um, that's a lot more uh, far JP farming, unfortunately, so we'll, we'll see. I kind of feel like I can just uh, kind of just bail at this point and um, actually change Garfgarian or Gafgarian into a Thief for the next battle, um, just because uh, I think the other classes that he's going to need, which again I think are the knight and um, it should be knight monk and actually monk might might be done now too because he's he's probably gained so much JP now off of my my uh, actual monk uh, in order to uh, not need to you know spam that more, but. I'll still bring a monk into the next battle. Uh, but anyway, so monk, knight, and geomancer. And uh, I think ninja only needs um, only needs geomancer 2. So again, that'll be another really, really quick one. Pretty, pretty, pretty so good. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do here is just, uh, let's just finish this out. Um, again, I, it would have kind of been nice to uh, get Gefgarian all the way up to uh, level 5 Thief right away, but I just don't think I need to actually do that. Um, and unfortunately, that's going to be another... Let's see, what is he at now? Thief. 890. Yeah, that's another 200 JP that I don't know that I want to farm up. Yeah. Um... It's, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's tough. It's probably one of those things where I really should do it just just to get it done. Um, maybe that's what I'll do. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Um, so what I'll do here is I'll just uh, just cut my footage here, and then uh, we'll pick it up right at the end of the battle. All right. So um, I've just done enough now where uh, the thief. Or Gafkarian's Thief is at level 5, so that's as far as we need to go. Um, so again, unfortunately, um, the next battle, uh, I'll have to bring in a knight. Um, maybe a monk, but maybe not, though. Uh, I'll probably uh, bring one in just to be safe. And then uh, a Geomancer, and that should unlock Gafkarian's uh, Ninja. So at this point, we're done. We've, uh, we've farmed up everything we need to. So I'll just uh, move over here and... <laughs> I'm 
knock that Chico right out. Okay. The battle is won. Excellent. All right. <coughs> so, obviously, what we're going to want to do here is save. Oh, so yeah, um, technically we could do another random encounter um, in between here. Uh, that's not going to do me, unfortunately, any good. Um, because all of my uh, classes are leveled up the way I want. Eric Waywoods and Sarah Kyle Falls. Okay. Um, so unfortunately, uh, obviously because Gafgarian and uh, Agrius are both guests, uh, if we bring them to random uh, encounters, they won't they won't be able to participate. So unfortunately, we won't be able to, you know, accomplish anything uh, by doing that. Uh, so what we need to do now is let's just learn JP boost. Um, is anything else going to help us out? Probably not. Um, trying to remember who has catch. Maybe it's thief. I think it's sticky fingers in this. Yep, sticky fingers. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so for the, uh, not the next battle, but the following battle, we will need to have that Sticky Fingers ability. Whoops. Um, I guess why not learn that? There's no real reason not to. Um, so what Sticky Fingers does is um, uh, it will catch anything that a ninja throws at that character. Let's just uh, catch thrown items and add them to the party inventory. Um, so that's uh, another key ability for this uh, for this strategy. Um, thief. I might as well actually just put that on to action. We'll just put that on now. Um, it's not going to be useful for the next battle, but um, I don't know. Bravery boost isn't doing me that much. Or I'm not getting much use out of it anyway. All right. So um, uh, let's see what we need to do with Gafgarian here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I guess we might as well just make him a knight. I'm just trying to think of what else. Yeah, there really isn't anything else that's useful. Um, night level three. Oh, yeah, this will be perfect. Okay, um, so we're going to make Gef Garion a knight, and then maybe I'll just do the, the rest of my characters as geomancers. So basically, because I've got this, um, you know, this cheap JP boost uh, going on, uh, he'll, he'll get to that night level three basically immediately. And so the only other thing I need is uh, geomancers. So we'll just make the rest of these characters Geomancers. And that way, uh, we'll be able to farm up the next battle really quickly. Oh, uh, we don't need to do her. Do -do -do -do. Let's make the main character a Geomancer as well. Because why not? Um, do -do -do -do. I think that's all I really need to do here. Oops know how useful that's really going to be. Uh, that should be it. Um, I'll mess with uh, my equipment off screen. but Yeah, I think that's really all I need to do. Um, let's just make sure, though. Ninja. Archer 4. Thief 5. Oh, no. I don't think I've got Archer 4 on him yet. Uh, let's just check. That's going to be really annoying. Ah, it's only level three. Okay. 
Uh, that's all right. That's not that's not a disaster, but um, that's annoying. So that just means I'll have to make somebody else into an archer for uh, for the next battle. Maybe I'll just do that on the main character. That's actually really annoying. Um, let's see how close he was. Archer, archer, archer. Oh, about 200 off. Um, yeah, I'll just make the main character an archer. Okay, well that's annoying. So, um, you know, had I farmed up a bit more, although 200, uh, 200 is a bit of uh, JP that, yeah, it's fine. It's whatever. But yeah, um, again, pretty important to know to know this stuff. Know where you're at and what you need to do to get to to get to ninja. So, Archer Four Thief is Thief is done. Geomancer is going to be easy because again, all I need to do is um, is level up the knight, and uh, the knight will unlock the monk. And I think the monk is. Um, well, let's just check. How much does Geomancer take? Monk 4. Ugh. Okay, that might be a problem too. Okay, so actually what I'm going to do is, just to be sure, um, I'm going to make probably two of these characters into monks. Um, I'm, I'm just not sure how much um, uh, JP was uh, obtained in the last battle there. Um, so that's that's kind of the crummy thing too about, um, about this process is, um, I just don't know how much uh, JP uh, Gefgarian got like spilled over from the the monk in the last battle. Um, yeah, that looks that looks okay. Um, because his uh, so really the the highest priority here is uh, Archer Four Geomancer Two. Uh, yeah, Geomancer 2 will happen really quickly, but Monk level 4, that makes me a little worried. Because again, I don't I just don't know how much uh, he got for the last one. But anyways, okay, so this looks this looks like this is set up good enough. So um what I'm gonna do, I'll mess around with my inventory and then um we'll start the next battle. Alright. So we're all set now. Um so we'll just head to the Araguay Woods. All right, let's get it on. Um, so this one, um, we'll have a actually another guest character. I'm not sure what I want to do about this one now. Um, so this is. <clears throat> This is Baco, I believe. <laughs> um, I can't remember what these choices do. I think um, I think number one here uh, doesn't require you to actually save the chocobo. But um, I'm going to use number two. <laughs> All right. Um, so th your choice there uh, determines what the objective for the battle is. Uh, so again, you know, choosing number two uh, will make your priority to protect the chocobo. And we are good folks, so we're going to do that. Alright, so a couple of obje uh, of objectives for this battle. Uh, maybe that's obvious. Uh, but number one is to save, and I think this is a Baco. Oh, I can't see right now. Hang on. Uh, also, chop up some goblins. And um, uh, get all of the different stuff that we need to get uh, Gafgarian to Ninja. So just focus. Um, this might be a. 
Might be a good time to knock out Agrius too. Yeah. Take that, Chica. What's this guy even equipped with? <laughs> Alright, so I took his uh took his weapon off. I think that's probably a good idea. I just don't want him doing too much damage. Again, the goal here isn't necessarily for uh, Gaff Garion to be a, uh, you know, a murderer here. We just need him to uh, uh, get some experience as well as some uh, job points. So, uh, <clears throat> as soon as he, uh, I think as soon as he takes like a swing at something. He should uh, get a ton of JP because again I've got that uh, um, JP glitch or JP code going um, just to just to speed up this process. So again, if this is uh, if you're doing this legit, you know this is going to look a little bit differently, uh, and unfortunately it's just going to take a little bit more time. Uh, but again, uh, extremely worthwhile. I had actually forgot how early on in the game that you can actually do this. I mean, Chapter 2, Knight Swords, is um, absolutely ridiculous. So, oh man, really? He's really taking his time getting to these goblins. Uh, I've probably knocked down enough with the main character, so I'm just going to start using the focus and stuff. 80 HP on them? Okay. Maybe I'll go speed him up just a bit. Go to a corner. Go to a corner, you turd. Um, <clears throat> so that's the only other, you know, real detriment to this, this battle, though, is, um, you know, you don't want to let e anything happen to Mo Tobacco, otherwise you lose. Um, and that's because I went with that, uh, what was it, the second option there? Alright, so let's take a look now, um, at Gafgarian here. So he is, uh, maxed out with the knight. Alright, monk level four, I think we're good there. Yeah, and Geomancer too. Well, something's missing though, right? Because I don't see Ninja. Alright, what are we missing? Oh, Archer 4. Okay. Alright, so I just need to spam myself with a bunch of abilities. Um, and then, um, unfortunately, actually, Gefgarian needs to level a ton. Um, so we need to get him into the, like, level 90 range. So what I'm going to do here is... Um, maybe I'll just speed him up. Well, that's kind of dangerous. I don't want him, I don't want him wrecking too hard. Uh, I'll get that figured out. Alright, so anyways, I'm going to do this stuff off camera though, again. So, my goal here is to, um, get his archer to four, because again, it's only at, what was it, three? Yeah, archer's three, and it needs to be four. Um, so my goal here is to hit archer four. And then I want to get him to around level 90, um, maybe maybe even a little bit higher, maybe like a 92. Uh, the reason for that is he will not, even if you teach him the Knight Sword ability, he won't throw them at you until he's like level 90, I think it's level 92. And that's the lowest level Knight Sword that he can throw. Um, I'll, I'll get that, that specific number uh, in, a, in a bit here. But um, again, that's that's gonna gonna be my goal. So I'm just gonna do that off camera to uh, you know save us some time. Okay, so um, at this point I've now got uh, Kefkarian exactly where I want. Well, not exactly uh, where I want him to be at, but he's at level 57, uh, which uh, unfortunately is actually quite quite far off. But 
Um, he has now uh, unlocked the ninja. Uh, obviously, I hit uh, four with the archer, finally. And um, I'm actually going to continue on, because uh, the next battle is really where, um, you know, he's going to... I guess that's where I'm going to finish leveling him at. Um, yeah, just because uh, it's going to be a little bit easier uh, to level him there. Um, well, I guess that's arguable. Um, that's just where I'm going to uh, level him. That's why. That, that's what I've... Oh, ah, you know what? I take that back. I don't think I can, to be honest. Um, it'll actually be harder um, because he'll... What's going to happen is in the next battle, he's going to swap sides. And um, it's actually going to be... It's, it's going to be more time-consuming for me to level him that way. So, yeah, now that I think about it, I am going to have to uh, level him here. So, actually, what I'll do is... Um, I'll cut this again, and uh, the next time we pick it up, he'll be kind of where I want him to be. All right, so I totally changed my mind. <laughs> um, I have not leveled Gafgarian up into the 90s. He's still at, whatever, 57, but because I've got some footage that I forgot I've got uh, had, um, I am going to continue on. So anyways, we've finished the battle. Um, this is... Yeah. Um, anyways, let's just finish this up. I, like I said, I forgot I had already, uh, had some footage here of, um, the next battle and, uh, kind of what I want to do. So let's just, um, go in and take a look here. All right, so obviously the first thing that we're going to want to do now is to, uh, swap Gafgarian to, um, to Ninja. Uh oh, that's a problem. <laughs> oh no, it worked! <laughs> okay, so um, apparently he had just enough um, uh, JP to learn Night Sword, uh, and that's that's what I needed. Um, I guess that's the default um, because I actually haven't been in combat with him on a ninja, and so he wouldn't have got any JP any other way. So um, that actually just ends up working out perfect. Uh, there's no reason to learn any of the rest of this stuff uh, for him. Um, let's remove this, um, and that's fine. Um, Keep in mind, so now I'm actually going to remove all of his equipment. Now, if you want to, you can duplicate equipment on him. Um, usually there really isn't anything that's worthwhile to duplicate uh, on him at this point in the game. But um, basically, I guess uh, what happens is... So whatever you uh, go into battle with... Uh, you'll actually get back. They'll throw that back into your inventory. And then I believe what you can do is actually steal from him. So again, if if you've got something like... Um, I'm just trying to think. Because I don't think there's anything that's really... Uh, that you can get a hold of at this point in the game that's worthwhile to, to kind of duplicate. And then on top of that, there's just other easier ways to do it. So again, I, don't, I, I shouldn't have even really probably brought that up. I guess it's just kind of a a fun fact. Um, I'm actually not going to equip anything on him, I think. I think I'm just going to leave him completely devoid of gear. Um, reason for that is uh, there's, a, there's a couple of different um, status effects that I want to be able to throw on him. Uh, specifically, don't move. And um, so we don't want him equipped with anything that would... Um, swap that or change that up uh, so the other thing that we want to do is again equip all your or, uh, any of the characters that you want to bring in you know just throw sticky fingers on them so that they can catch stuff um, as far as whatever classes you want to bring with you um, I would say just kind of bring whoever you want there's going to be some tough stuff though with this battle um, I'm actually going to save here um, again, I, you know, had I, uh, or 
If I didn't have this other set of footage, I would have said the last battle there, you would have wanted to get um, Gafgarian up into the 90s. Um, yeah, so anyways. Wow. What is going on here? Okay, so um, let's, uh, let's start this next battle. Got some wonkiness going on here. There we go. Um, so I'll be honest, this isn't exactly how I would set up. Um, I'd actually change up my characters just a little bit, but um, for time, time's sake, I'm going to just kind of continue on here and uh, hammer out the first little bit of this battle. Um, so again, what I would recommend doing here is getting uh, Gafgarian to 92. Uh, level 92, that is, before this battle even starts. And, um, again, you have to have done that really in the last battle, or the battle before, although it's unlikely that you would have done it in the first one. Well, you could have, but uh, I think it's better done at, uh, back in the forest. But, um, alright, so basically here we've got, uh, some knights that have cornered Delita and Ovelia. And, uh, Oh, got some issues with my capture software. That's awesome. So my frame rate's tanked. Love seeing that happen. <laughs> Alright, we'll have to work that out here in a minute. Okay, let's try this again. This kidnapping was a ruse? What's that? Guess what? It's a ruse. Boom. You just got rused. <laughs> Alright, let's just get through this dialogue. We're not here to hear you people yap. Alright, we're here to catch ninja swords. Um, Alright, so one other thing that I want to bring up. <clears throat> um, ninjas can throw... Uh, you know, basically, well, not any item, but a lot of different items. Um, specifically, we're going for the Night Swords, obviously. Um, at 92, or at level 92, Gafgarian will throw defenders at you. I think he'll throw defenders at level 93 as well. Uh, and then I think at level 90... Oh, you know what, I'm not even gonna guess. Anyways, long story short, what ends up happening is every... Every level or every couple levels, he'll start to throw different things. Um, again, at 92, he definitely starts throwing the defenders. Now, basically, the defend defender is the worst of the Night Swords. Um, I'm, I'm actually just going to set this up. Um, oh, wow, that was really weak. She's equipped with really crappy weapons. Um, uh, what I would actually do here is, you know, have a different, uh, party set up. Me, uh, basically, what I really think is good is to have some, someone with the ability to make it so that Gafgarian can't move. So again, like the, the don't move ability from, like, the Mystic. Alright, uh, so I've got this set up pretty close to how I wanted it to. Um, let's just take a look at what I actually ended up doing here. So I've got the, the main character. I actually moved back to Square for whatever reason. Um, metal and Time Magics. Huh, okay. Um, so I guess I went with the Time Mage for um, the, uh, the immobilize ability. I thought that was mystic for some reason. Um, let's just have a look here. What is going on here? Oh, I don't even have mystic unlocked for him. <laughs> okay, well anyways, that's immobilize. Um, so the, the idea here is to uh, make Kafgarian throw stuff at you from a distance. I know, really strange, right? But um, what actually ends up happening in the the first couple of turns are the toughest. Um, again, I've actually um, kind of skipped through all that, unfortunately. But 
Uh, you get the idea. Anyways, uh, what you want to do, actually, you want to get Delita killed eventually as well, as well as Agrius. Um, that's just going to reduce the, you know, kind of the amount of uh, potential issues that can kind of arise from those two being alive. Uh, specifically, Delita trying to kill Gafgarian. Uh, Ovelia will basically uh, stand off in the distance somewhere, generally, and, and stay pretty safe. Again, the first couple of turns can be really difficult, though. And uh, what you really want to do is make sure that Gafgarian isn't too fast. Because uh, oftentimes he'll... He'll be able to get a hold of uh, Ovelia right away and just and, uh, kill her off. So, uh, again, you gotta be you gotta be pretty quick with your first turns. But, anyways, um, so what I want to do here is uh, use a mobilize on Gafgarian. Um, I'll just I'll just leave him here. Um, I've got my other characters here off in the bottom, just kind of not really doing anything. And uh, the idea again is to just. Try to keep Gafgarian at a distance and have him throw uh, weapons. So let's. There we go. So here he's throwing Chaos Blitz. Um, so if you notice, he's already level 98. And um, uh, so obviously throwing Chaos Blades already. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to hit, you know, wait a couple of times. And. Uh, Yeah, yeah, boy. Um, so what you want to do, again, so if you've started uh, with him at 92 and he's throwing defenders, uh, what you want to do is just catch as many as you want and then walk up to him and just have him attack you until he levels. Um, so, again, keep in mind that this process can be uh, pretty time-consuming. Um, but, I mean, this is the payoff. Again, it's, uh, it's getting all these defenders and... Um, all that stuff. So I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna take care of him here. There we go. So we'll just kind of show you what I ended up getting here, or what we can get. Um, but yeah, I mean, essentially, it's all the best. Uh, maybe not the best swords in the game, but um, some amazing ones. And uh, I mean, at this point in the game, it's uh, pretty crazy. I'm just going to um, fast forward through all this stuff so that we can get to uh, get to the actual inventory and what we ended up getting. Uh, again, keep in mind uh, the the only you can do this later on in the game uh, with enemy ninjas, uh, but unfortunately, it's going to take a long time to get there. So. Uh, keep that in mind, so uh, this is a good way to get this stuff extremely early. And here my frame rate is tanking again, for whatever reason. Don't really know why that happens. Oh, so bad. Yeah, I'm not sure why this is happening. Fortunately, it's only when I uh, record. Actually, what I'm going to do is stop recording and I'll just get to my inventory then. Okay, so um, this is essentially right after those cutscenes, and um, all right, so let's take a look at what we actually got here. Oops, wrong button. Oh, I see. Yes, my frame rate's tanked yet again. I have no idea what's going on with this. Uh, but anyways, alright, so we've got uh, 17 Chaos Blades, uh, 13 Ragnaroks, 16 Excaliburs, looks like 10 Save the Queens, and 11 Defenders. Um, the real wins here are the Excaliburs, because uh, they give you haste. Um, I think they're a fantastic offhand if you're dual wielding, and then the Chaos Blades, obviously, because of that absurd attack stat. Um, so I'm just going to show you here what I usually end up doing. Which I don't think, yeah, Ramza can't quite equip uh, Knight Swords with his Squire job yet. Uh, later on in the game, um, for sure, Chapter 4, he's able to actually equip Knight Swords as a Squire, which is a little absurd, but um, anyways, uh, let's not bother with Agrius yet. Um, let's just swap him to 
Oh, Dark Knight's really good. Um, at least I think it is. Alright, so I don't know what's happening here. Um, yeah, my frame rate keeps tanking when I uh, let this go for too long. So anyways, um... Alright, so what I did here was uh, make him a Dark Knight. Uh, give him the dual wield ability. And then um, I'm just going to leave the Chaos Blade in the main hand. And then do an Excalibur in the off hand. Um, so basically this is how I set up for the rest of the game. Uh, th this combination is amazing. Obviously the Chaos Blade itself is extremely powerful. And then the Excalibur in the off hand uh, just gives you permanent haste. So basically you're going to be OP and broken again for, you know, the rest of the game. Um, you know, feel free to equip whatever you want. It doesn't really matter at this point. You're going to be crazy overpowered. So, um, again, keep in mind this does work with the, um, the original tactics as well. You're going to have to make a, a slight tweak. Obviously you won't have access to the uh, Dark Knight, but you can use a Knight instead. Uh, same exact setup again until um, until you get to chapter four, and then again in chapter four you can swap this up to and uh, actually leave Ramza in his squire job, which is um, pretty great, and uh, just go with that combo. So again, uh, anyways, that's uh, that's gonna end it. So hope the guide was helpful, and hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.